respected chairperson, all the panelists and dear participants. Assalamu alaikum and welcome you all today here in this scientific webinar on antifungal resistance, which is organized by Navana Pharmaceuticals. I think it will be an exciting and wonderful session for the next one year because we have a group of learned and highly skilled and experienced panelists for this conversation. As you know that more than or almost 25% of world populations have been suffering from fungal infections, particularly superficial fungal infections. So uh, regarding uh, this management, it's uh, really very important. And for the last one decade, uh, as a dermatologist, we have faced a lot of uh, difficulties to manage these fungal infections. So uh, today uh, we'll uh, discuss regarding all these things uh, about the antifungal resistance. Uh, first of all, I would like to introduce the person who is well known for his academic activities. He is graduated from Rajshahi Medical College in 1982 and has completed his diploma in 1991 and MCPS from BCPS in 1992. And he has completed his fellowship from BCPS in 2001. More than 60 original articles he has published in different national as well as international journals. He has uh, achieved the fellowship from Royal College, uh, FRCP, and also FACP. He has re written a book. The name is Fundamentals of Dermatology for the undergraduate as well as for the general practitioners. He is the chairperson of today's sessions, Professor Lieutenant Colonel Retired Mohammed Abdul Wahab Sir. So uh, I would like to welcome you, sir, as a chief guest of today's session. And I would like to request you to introduce the other panelists as well as the speakers. Uh, please, sir. Professor M. A. Wahab Sir, the chief guest of today's session. Thank you, sir. Thank you, Dr. Mahbub, Thank for you, your Dr. nice comment. Learned audience, speaker, panel of expert, moderator, ladies and gentlemen, Assalamu alaikum. First of all, I welcome you all to today's presentation, Challenge of Antifungal Resistance. Over a few years, we are facing great difficulties to treat this particularly cutaneous infection. So we'll discuss We'll hear about the challenge of antifungal resistance uh, from the speaker and panel of uh, panel of expert. Now I'm introducing speaker, Professor Rashid Mahmud Khan. He graduated from Mamanshing Medical College, and <laughs> he did a diploma from Dhaka University. He is now heading. Department of Dermatology and Venerology, Dhaka Medical College. He's very well known to us. He's very gentle, amicable, and always laughing mood. His special interest, dermatosurgery, aesthetics, aesthetic dermatology, and cosmetic dermatology. Next, panel of expert, Dr. Zaki Rashin Galip. He has graduated from Chittagong Medical College and he did his MD degree from Bangabandhu Sheikh Mujib Medical University. He is also heading Department of Dermatology and Venerology, Sir Solimullah Medical College. His special interest clinical dermatology, aesthetic, and cosmetic <coughs> dermatology. Now I'm introducing Professor Hai. He's graduated from Silet Osmani Medical College and he obtained MSc degree from London and he also obtained 
uh, Ipad Sibi from Edinburgh. Uh, he is very amicable person. Though he is practicing local area, select he is very gently, gentle. All of know uh, we know about him. His special field of interest: clinical dermatology, aesthetic, and dermato surgery. Next, Professor Asipul Jaman. I think he is the youngest dermatologist among us. Youngest professor among us. He graduated from Dhaka Medical College. He obtained FCPS from Bangladesh College of Physician and Surgeon, Dhaka, Bangladesh. He is also heading Department of Dermatology and Dermatology Green Light Medical College. He is special interest in dermatosurgery and aesthetic dermatology. And now moderator Dr. Mahbub Shain is well-known figure in our country. He graduated from Dhaka Medical College. He did his diploma from Dhaka University and obtained FCPS degree from Bangladesh College of Physician and Surgeon, Dhaka, Bangladesh. His special field of interest, dermatosurgery, <coughs> is great. He had transplant surgeon in our country and also he is doing vitiligo surgery. I welcome all of you to today's seminar, Challenge of Antifungal Resistance. Now I request Professor Rashid Mahmud Khan to deliver of his speech about emergence or crisis of antifungal resistance in this crisis moment that is corona crisis thank you all thank you very much thank you professor i believe i am audible am i audible yes you can hear me yes sir. thank you honorable chairperson professor abdullah for your nice introduction uh, i'd like to welcome all the panelists yeah. and the participants that do those who are participating in this discussion about fungal resistance, the challenge we are facing so far. I'm very big to special thanks to Namara Pharmaceuticals also, especially Dr. Imtadur Rahman, who is the managing medical affairs and training. Namara Pharmaceuticals, who has helped me to prepare these slides. So, uh, what is fungus? They are here for billions of years on Earth. They have a big role to play. Uh, when the dinosaurs die, they made our plant habitable. Uh, in our ecological system, they have a big role. They are not always bad. They are here for billions of years. They may be mold, they may be eased, they may be uh, dermatophyte. They are outdoor, they are indoor, they are everywhere. But the problem is right now what we are facing. Uh, not only dermatophytes, even the candida and the, uh, those fungus that affects our system internal system, our uh, bloodstream, our heart, internal system are also those fungus that affect those systems are becoming resistant. Only th there are only three types of antifungal grass we have, three or four types, like the glycophulbin, uh, the azo, the allylamine, and the echinocandines. That's, and we will be facing a big challenge if these fu uh, fungus have become, uh, uh, antifungal grass have become resistant. Resistance is especially concerning for patients with having fungal infections, severe infections that affect the blood, heart, brain, eyes, or other parts of the body, because these are serious infections that may be more difficult to treat uh, if they are resistant and if antifungal treatment is limited. For example, our blood infections with the fungus candida, uh, uh, then the resistant treatment can cause serious health problems, including disability and death. And with special interest, what we'll be talking about today about the dermatophytes that we are facing today. Some species of fungi are naturally resistant to treatment with certain types of antifungal drugs. For example, the drug fucrosol does not work against infections caused by the fungus aparagillus, a type of mold. Resistance can also develop over time when fungi are exposed to antifungal drugs. The resistance can occur with antifungal drugs are used improperly. That's what we are, has happening right now. Uh, and treat sick people who when doses are not low, uh, are very low, or when treatment courses are not long enough, or even when antifungal drugs are used improperly. The problem. 
use of fungicides. That's a big problem that we are facing. In agriculture to prevent and treat fungal diseases in crops can also contribute to resistance of the people exposed uh, to these fungicides. Uh, we are talking. We are talking about fungus as a whole. That is Candida auris and then Aspergillus. These are the raises, including the dermatophytes, uh, is become resistant. I don't know about the dermatophytes. We have special. We, we, I mean, I think today's discussion is being centered on the dermatophyte. You know about it. It is just this because it is visualization. Uh, you all know about it. There are different species like Trichophyton microsporum. Among them, some of them uh, we find in a study in Dhaka Medical College, we have found that Trichophyton and microsporum canis are the majority of the uh, fungus uh, that are causing uh, resistant fungal infection. But you don't know about the life cycle. I'm not going to go about it. Uh, and these are superficial fungal infections. Uh, you know, are one of the most common infections in our body. This is the video properties. You know about this. I'm just showing some of the pictures and uh, about the tedia infections of different parts of the body. So these are the infections of the legs, foot. Before we go on to the uh, factors for fungal resistance, we also would like to, I think, our panel of experts to discuss about the steroid minus. Minus of topical corticosteroid steroid use, which led to uh, a, a bigger portion of the, this uh, antifungal resistance is due to steroid, a misuse of steroids. You know, about 30% uh, of the people that suffer from a skin rash goes to the dermatologist uh, for consultations. But the rest of the 70% doesn't uh, go to them and use uh, steroid uh, just buy from a uh, pharmacy so, and the, as a big business. And now I think uh, in our panel of dis uh, in, in our discussion, we'll be talking about how to stop it, stop this business. So what are the factors for fungal resistance? The fungal factors are uh, like reducing the accumulation of the drug within the fungal cell, decreasing the affinity of the drug for its target, modification of metabolism to counterbalance the drug effect, cellular response to stress, and biofilm production. And the host factors are state of immunosuppression, state of infection, severity of infection, and onset of treatment. And the drug related uh, things are fungostatic nature, dosage, pharmacokinetics, drug drug interaction, and environmental factors. The fungal factors the decreased accumulation of drug within fungi that is reducing the accumulation of the drug within the fungal cell is done by increasing the drug efflux mechanism. Multi drug efflux transporters are, uh, are membrane proteins found in all living organisms. These proteins bind to a variety of structurally and chemically dissimilar compounds and actively extrude them from the cell. And the mutations are happening all the time. Uh, previously, we only were uh, thinking about we are concerned of the viral uh, resistance, but uh, we didn't care about the fungal resistance. Now, what we are seeing that all the fungal that are uh, uh, that can cause human infection are becoming resistant. You do mutates in their genes, encoding the efflux pumps results in decreased accumulation of drugs in the cell. A mutation or overexpression of the gene encoding for target enzymes is another mechanism developing uh, developed by fungi. A point mutation uh, in the e ERG11 gene that codes for larosterol 14 alpha demethylase leads to the complete inhibition of the binding capacity of the azole drugs in targeting mutation uh, in the uh, squalene epoxide gene, uh, ERG1, leads to an amino acid substitution in the AC, uh, making the fungi about 1000 fold less susceptible to target effect. The overexpression of target enzymes is either by gene amplification or upregulation of the responding gene in chromosomal anomalies like uh, isochromosome formation and increase in the number of azole resistant genes can occur. This is another important thing, this biofilm formation. Biofilm is a sessile microbial community surrounded by extracellular uh, polymeric substances with increased resistance to antimicrobial agents and host defenses. Both Tycopter group drum and tycopter mentrophytes are capable of producing biofilms. Biofilms by yeast and containing molds are frequently 
polymicrobial and are resistant to almost all the currently used solidity fungus, with the exception of uh, echinocandines and lipid formulations of amphotericin B. Biofilm resistance is probably the result of multiple factors, such as an increased expression of heat flux pump, a modification of plasma membrane composition, and the drug uh, sequestration in biofilm produced extracellular matter. And the clinical resistance. Clinical resistance depends on multiple host and drug related factors, which are as follows. Uh, patients with severe degree of immunosuppression with invasive fungal infections may, may not respond to any factors. Delay in initiation, adequate dose of antifungal results, and increased chances of treatment failure. Fluconazole has better cerebral fluid uh, penetration as compared to itroconazole, therefore, making it a better choice in treating fungal meningitis. When the site of infection is necrotic and poor blood supply, a debulking surgery is essential to overcome antifungal treatment resistance. Compliance in patients requiring a long term therapy is also important. And what are the drug related factors? Various factors such as static nature of the most drug uh, inappropriate antifungal usage. We said that a lot of, like, the medium inhibitory concentration of the, uh, uh, is increasing. A lower dose will not work. Will not work. You have to increase the dose to increase the minimum electric contribution uh, so that the drugs can work. In case of where the eco uh, etiological agent is known, treatment with low antifungal dosage, strong duration of treatment, drug interactions, and the cost of therapy play a role in fungal resistance. You, see, you can see that there are, there are a lot of drugs, such as we, we are using uh, itrocorazole with a uh, antacid or a H2 blocker or protein inhibitor. Is that interaction that offer that always uh, inhibits the uh, action uh, efficacy of the drug? <coughs> Combination of polyins and azoles with other nephrotoxic drugs can result in treatment failure. Uh, now, the treatment, treatment is very well. How are we going to treat uh, these patients with this fungal resistance? Clinical antifungal resistance may be uh, suspected if the patient with recurrent episodes of infection unresisted to the to the first line of therapy, generalized involvement, and atypical forms of presentation uh, with unusual history of civil additions in the family. And the steroid minus has uh, given rise to a lot of uh, dysfunctions and newer terminologies in uh, fungal infections, uh, like chronic dermatophytosis, which, which, which can occur for six months to one year. The patient is suffering from recalcitrant dermatophytosis, recurrent dermatophytosis, the different terms that come. One of the important treatment measures of recurrent cutaneous fungal infection is prevention of disease among family members. This is very important. If, if one family, one person is treated, the whole family should be treated because it is contagious and patient has to take care uh, of these uh, things uh, if, in, to, for effective control uh, of the fungal infection. Boosting in hygiene is also very important. Measures including hand wash, clipping of the nail, regular bathing, and complete drying of the skin, use of non-inclusive shoes. Uh, Absorbent soaps and powder, evidence and or sharing of combs, towels, brushes, bedding mm -hmm. and hat, and evidence of barefoot uh, walk in public uh, uh, bathroom should be avoided. The availability of newer antifungal agents with unique mechanisms of action and improved tolerability has widened the possibilities of the use of combination of antifungal therapies for difficult to treat opportunistic uh, mycosis. So there are a lot, a lot of controversies. There are some, not many uh, uh, randomized control trials about the combination of antifungals. Uh, but still, uh, out of despair, uh, and personally, uh, individually, we are trying so many things, uh, and we are combining so many drugs, but the combination that, uh, that we, we try clinical trials are very minimum, but still we can uh, pick uh, antifungal uh, Fungal infection, the dermatophytosis, the combination of antifungal. For many, two systemic antifungal agents have been used in invasive mycosis caused by Canada, Aspergillus, and Cryptococcus. It, it has been using in dermatophytosis. Combining uh, combination antifungal therapy has been used, whereas topical and systemic antifungals are combined, uh, which we always do, even the systemic antifungals can be combined. Uh, the advantage of combination therapy are increased rate and extent of fungal scaling that the that synergies between the two uh, enhance spectrum of activity and decrease likelihood of resistance or tolerance. Adults can act in a synergistic way when combined with carbinafin, providing good results against candida, uh, dimorphic molds, uh, 
diabetes fungi and is such as uh, Canada glabrata, adults with amphotericin B have mixed responses. An efficient antifungal should act against the wide range of fungi having no or no, no toxicity or the whole. We have to be very careful when combining these antifungals. We have to monitor for the toxicity, uh, what the side effects can cause. What are the major challenges in developing antifungal drugs lies in the similarities shared between fungi uh, and their host, thereby restricting the target molecules for antifungal drugs. Most pure antifungal drugs are uh, designed considering the following. Drugs having pharmacological similarity with the older drugs, which are shared the target molecule with lower MIC level and specific indications that is uh, isavuconazole, uh, mica, fungine, luliconazole. Repurposing or establishing medications where an old compound with a uh, known pharmacology is used alone or in combination with another drug for a newer indication, for example, uh, calcineurin inhibitors, target of rapamycin inhibitors, HSP19 inhibitors, in synergy with others. Recent advances in fungal genomics and proteomics uh, have revealed target genes, proteins, and virulence factors required during infection of the host tissue by dermatophytes, for example, efflux pump inhibitor derived uh, compounds of uh, milmaicin, a transcription factor PAC-C, a wide domain regulatory protein involved in pathogenicity events uh, of the sulfate transporters were proposed as an interesting target for antifungal drugs in dermatology because of their role in uh, proteolytic digestion of heart keratin. Antifungal resistance is a growing threat. Everyone from CDC researchers and laboratory uh, laboratorians to healthcare professionals to the general public has a role to play in preventing fungal infections and reducing antifungal resistance. CDC is transforming how to how the nation combats and sh shows antibiotic resistance to all levels, conducting surveillances, expanding lab capacity, healthcare facility leadership, and infection control staff can assess fungal antifungal use as part of their antibiotic uh, stewardship program, ensure adherence to infection prevention and control guidelines, including one of the challenge of finding new antifungal target is uh, but the lack of sophisticated screening technologies often employed with other fungal species such as uh, Saccharomyces cerevis uh, C. The recent application of genome-wide studies to pathogenic fungi for both post-pathogen interactions and the biological study will hopefully encourage the, and facilitate the development of new effective therapeutic strategies, uh, such improvements in antifungal treatment may lead to a better clinical outcome. So thank you. That's all the presentation. I just give you a brief overview of uh, what, what, the, what the research is going on. The research is going on. A lot of research is going on. I think now we'll be discussing uh, mostly the dermatophytes and uh, other antifungal, like candida and the systemic fungal infections, which are became, becoming resistant. Uh, uh, with this, I end my presentation. Thank you very much. Thank you, Professor Rashid. Mahmoud Khan for his brilliant and nice presentation. Now open for the question and answer session. Uh, Dr. Mago, please take over and continue the discussions. Thank you. We don't hear from Mahabai. Mahabai, we cannot hear you. Unmute, unmute, you have to unmute. Babubai, we don't hear you. Uh, now I think, yeah. No, Babubai, your sound doesn't come. Sound again, come on up in a bishop, come on, take like into Babuna. Sound to Bari and The sound nash on Monohai, officer, take a deal with the parent. Okay, sir. Now yes, we will start our question session. Professor Asipul Jaman. Sir. Um, you, you can say something about the 
uh, resistance of antifungal so, drug so. or challenge of antifungal resistance uh, in, in our country, not only in our country, uh, even all over the world. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Assalamu alaikum. Amake salam alaikum. Fine. First of all, I would like to thank uh, Professor Rashid Muhammad Khan, sir. Uh, he's very close to me. He is a very, a very dear person to me. And for such a nice and elaborate presentation about uh, this fungus, its resistance, and uh, how we should uh, deal with it. And we all know when I started my uh, training in dermatology, fungal uh, infection, I started uh, my treatment in Dhaka Medical College under Professor Zakir Hussain Galib, sir. I hope he remembers me in those days, uh, sir. Uh, so in those days, uh, when I started, fungal infection was uh, very easy to treat because uh, it's very easy to diagnose. Then you choose a, a, a set of drugs and it gets cured. And it was so pleasing uh, for the caregiver. But things have changed over the years. Now, uh, dealing fungal infection, treating dermatophyte, getting it cured is so difficult. And sometimes it keeps coming back so frequently that it is so frustrating. Uh, from the part of the patient and also from the part of the uh, doctor as well. And sometimes uh, we face uh, such difficulties in controlling the, the, the disease that we somehow sometimes find uh, shortage of drugs, which one we should give. Because sometimes we get recurrent fungal infections, patients coming to us after, after seeing a lot of doctors. They have been tried almost every drugs, yet it is coming back. So in that uh, aspect, I guess, uh, talking about resistant fungal infection and uh, talking about the ways to deal is very important. Now, I'd like to talk about uh, one or two issues. One is that um, we know that for any bacterial infection, there is a test called uh, uh, culture and sensitivity. With that test, we can uh, specifically uh, pinpoint which uh, antibiotic would be uh, best for uh, that kind of uh, a bacterial infection. But the problem with uh, the fungus is that till date, uh, <clears throat> no such uh, culture sensitivity test has been commercially available in laboratories. But there are few tests that have been carried out in specified centers in abroad, which I would like to talk about. There are basically two kinds of tests. One is the uh, agar based uh, mm, uh, uh, disc diffusion method where the uh, agar is uh, uh, used. Uh, with some other uh, nutrients uh, to uh, create a media which can uh, uh, pinpoint the uh, drug which would be sensitive for that particular strain of fungus uh, to know the sensitivity. These are called drug sensitivity testing. And the other, the another way is to do it by broth micro dilution method. Now these are all done by CLSI, that is Clinical and Laboratory Standard. Uh, Institute. They have uh, maneuvered this uh, uh, sensitivity testing in broad micro dilution method. Uh, what can be done is that we not only can pinpoint the fungus, the antifungal drug, which is sensitive for that particular fungus, but also we can determine the MIC, that is the minimal inhibitory concentration of that uh, uh, antifungal drug for that fungus. Now, the thing is that as long as we do not co co make these tests commercially available, it is very difficult for us to find out which drug is uh, uh, particularly um, going to work against which fungus. Sometimes we see that it is a pure dermatophyte. We are trying terbinafine, we are trying azoles, we are trying all these things. But we see, find a, we find out that it is getting cured by grisofalbine. But we do not know because we do not have that uh, test available. So I think this is one aspect uh, we can make that these uh, drug sensitivity tests are made available so that we can do the antifungal sensitivity and also we can determine the MIC. That is one way of dealing with this resistant fungal infection. And another one I would like to talk about that Rashid sir very nicely talked about the drug efflux, the biofilm formation, the drug sequestration, metabolic bypass. All these things are fungal causes we know for resistance. But there are some host perspective as well, which also Rashid sir talked about. I would like to uh, talk a few about it. Like we do not have our patients very much compliant to the drug. It seems that many patients, what they do, once they get some kind of a result, they stop taking the drug. That is one. Number two, sometimes they try to uh, get medicine from the nearby shop 
and sometimes they apply steroid on this so what it does it not only increases the fungus it also makes it resistant that is another thing so very important for the patients is to be compliant with the doctor with the treatment that is also very important and another thing is reinfection as you all know that fungus is so contagious that it not only involves the one person it also involves his family members it involves his friends um, nearby neighbors so when we treat we have to also ask and we also have to try to uh, find that contact searching so that we can treat the whole family like we do in case of scabies so that the whole family is treated at the same time so that there is no chance of uh, reinfection these are the uh, things that we can do for uh, uh, to mitigate or to minimize the uh, fungal resistance sir thank you sir thank you very much professor asir in addition to that i just add something because we have investigated 250 cases culture sensitivity in BSMMO, Sir. last uh, over a period of two years. There we found terbinafin sensitivity almost 98%, itaconazole sensitivity 94%, fluconazole only 20%, grisobin 5%, boriconazole only 5%. So we did not measure the MIC, what Professor Asipu Jaman said, because it is the MIC not the resistance of the drug. A MIC can, only MIC can tell which drug is appropriate, which dosing is appropriate, which duration is appropriate. So I just uh, add about the culture sensitivity test in Bangladesh. Now just, uh, I, uh, I, I just um, ask Professor Abdul Hai, because we know limited drugs are available, uh, especially systemic drugs are available, in our country to treat this cutaneous infection. In your opinion, a drug is responsible uh, only for the uh, causing of uh, antifungal resistance? Professor, hi. Uh, thank you, Honorable uh, Chairperson. Uh, one of my uh, <coughs> most uh, favorite professor of Bangladesh, uh, Professor Lieutenant Colonel. Uh, Dr. Wahab, uh, respectable uh, keynote speaker, my favorite dermatologist, Professor uh, Rashid Mahmud Khan, well regarded panel of experts, Professor Galib Bhai, and uh, very dear uh, Professor Dr. Asipud Jaman, and all the participants, uh, dermatologists, and viewers. First of all, a very uh, good evening to all of you. I'm uh, going to answer in the question of our chat persons, but before going to the uh, answer, I like to add a uh, few things uh, of the today's topics. Uh, first of all, I like to uh, Professor Rashid Mahmud Khan for his very excellent uh, presentation. And I like to add few things that one thing is that uh, I like to say about the uh, history of our antifungals. Uh, you know well that they, at the end of 1950s, our first antifungal was discovered, and these were the polyens group. Among this polyen uh, group, the, there was the amphotericin B and nystatin B, etc. And these drugs uh, directly act on the uh, fungal cell membrane, that is the one ergosterol. And we know well that uh, human cell also uh, contain uh, cholesterol, which is uh, analog to uh, ergosterol. So in fact, it was a toxic in nature. And after 20 years, that is in 1970, the, uh, there was a breakthrough. That is the another discovery of the group of drugs that was the azoles. Azoles acts on biosynthesis of ergosterol uh, in, in, the, in its uh, the uh, early stage, and thereby uh, it is uh, inhibit the uh, ergosterol, and thereby it works. But its negative uh, side was that uh, it involved the uh, cytochrome P450 system, and it was the fungistatic in nature. And after 30 years, uh, another group, it is in 2001, another group of uh, fungal uh, antifungal agent discovered that is the uh, echino, echino uh, the one of this uh, group of this drug is the caspofolgin. This was a very nice uh, preparation and it was inhibited by a synthesis of uh, uh, ergosterol. Uh, but 
this group of dog was fungicidal and our dermatologist actually our experience was limited because actually it was used in uh, systemic mycosis and fourth class of drug that is, was available in our country from the 1970 that is the allyl amines so actually the fourth class of drug already we have and among this four class of drug only two class of drug we are using mostly uh, one is the azole group azole groups and another is the allyl amines group so among these two groups uh, a lot of drugs are now going to resistant. The first resistant case was discovered in 1961. It was the Grisofolvin. And in 1980, we have found that uh, ketoconazole was resistant. That is, the, that is the one of the agile group of drugs. And 2003, we have seen uh, Tarbinafin also resistant in few reported cases. And nowadays, we have seen many reported cases of the agile resistance. And it is now called that about 19%, uh, 1-9% uh, case is resistant to uh, agile drugs. So this is a crisis time. And we have only uh, little arsenal for fight against uh, fungus. So there was uh, some thinking uh, in the medical expert how we should combat it. Only uh, Professor Rashid Mahmud Khan uh, discussed elaborately about the mechanism of drug resistance, like uh, he said about the uh, biofilm uh, formation, he drug about the uh, drug efflux, uh, uh, he uh, said about the, our environmental factors like use of fungicide in agriculture. I just add one thing is that there is a some point mutation which caused the uh, drug resistance, like uh, ERG 11. Uh, it is, uh, it is, uh, we have seen the, uh, this uh, uh, gene alterations in case of targeting. ERG3 gene alteration we have already seen in the uh, agile groups. So uh, this is one of the very important that is the uh, gene alteration. So it is the uh, in this point we have, we must see that this is the challenge because uh, development of new antifungal drug is a challenge because fungal cell is a eukaryotic cell and our human cell are also eukaryotic cells. So whenever a drug is uh, come in market, I, it, it causes uh, some question about the uh, safety of this drug. And usually we have seen that for any antifungal drug, uh, that needs more than eight to 10 years for FDA approval. So at this moment, uh, they are thinking about the how we shall develop new drug. And we have seen that our all the drug, uh, all four class of drug, it will target only few. That is the ergosterol or only the cell membrane. So we are uh, now searching the uh, new target, new target. So scientists are thinking uh, mainly four ways. One is the uh, development of the uh, uh, chemical compounds of already traditional uh, antifungal drugs like uh, agile groups of drugs like that. Another uh, thinking uh, is that uh, we uh, try to uh, discover few nanoparticles so that it can carry uh, antifungal elements more effectively to fungal cells. And most importantly, which I, I myself also interested in another research is that uh, to develop and other things, we should change our target. That we, we discovered a uh, vaccine and also immunomodulatory drug. Huh? We have uh, seen that in the case of viral wars, in some strains of viral wars actually is sensitive to uh, some vaccine. Even some immunomodulatory drug like immunocoimod is working uh, nice in uh, genital viral wars. So, so like that, in fungus, there is some uh, research in uh, development, some vaccine and immunomodulatory drug, etc. So in this moment, uh, we are uh, in the position of uh, thinking in the new way, not only the old way. But in this moment, we have uh, some weapons and we should use it most uh, uh, I think uh, intelligently, uh, already mentioned uh, Professor Rashna Manon that we must uh, uh, change our lifestyle. Uh, he uh, emphasized about our personal hygiene. I agree with that. And about the combination of many drugs, it is, it is I think, uh, uh, very difficult because any systemic drug combined with another systemic drug is really, really, really a risk for human being because all the antifungal impact some kind of toxic drug. But now we are uh, seeing in literature some combination of uh, ant systemic antifungal with other group of antifungal drugs, like uh, like cyclosporine A, like uh, uh, lipid lowering agent, uh, like calcineurin inhibitor, like uh, anti-nucleostic drugs. 
and these are in the research, but uh, still, still now uh, we are not uh, confirmed about the, all the safety of these things. But I think that very important is that if you we use these drugs which are available now, just rationally, that means appropriate dose and uh, appropriate duration, that will be nice. So thank you, sir, uh, for your uh, uh, for giving me the floor. And I like to thank uh, uh, Nagana Pharmaceuticals, especially uh, Dr. M. T. S. Rahman, uh, Manager of Medical Affairs and Training, uh, for arranging uh, so nice webinar. And it is really very time demanding, and I think it is very helpful for all the laboratories of country. So, sir, thank you, sir, Professor Bhav, sir. Thank you very much, Professor Hai, for your elaborate discussion about the drug, particularly used in the treatment of cutaneous fungus infection. Uh, Dr. Mahub, can you hear me? Dr. Mahub is not. No. If so is now is floor. Floor uh, to Professor Zaki Roshan Galib in deliberation of Professor Rashid Mahmud Khan. So he is um, uh, telling about the uh, treatment of resistance cases and some of the cases we are also using combination of drug. Combination may be tropical, topical. Combination may be tropical, systemic. Combination may be systemic antifungal with other systemic antifungal. Combination may be systemic antifungal with non-antifungal non systemic drug that Professor Hai rightly mentioned. Uh, uh, but he also mentioned about the retinoid. I personally using retinoid that is isotretinoin in combination with uh, antifungal drug. Uh, what is your comment, Professor Zaki Roshan Galib? about the combination of uh, drug uh, in the treatment of the resistant fungal disease. Thank you. Uh, uh, respected, prof, uh, respected chairperson, Professor M.A. Ohab, today's speaker, Professor Rashid Mohammed Khan, our learned panelist, Professor Abdul Hai, Professor Atifud Jaman. Hello. And uh, moderator, uh, Dr. Mahub Shahin. And the participants of this webinar, Assalamu Alaikum. First of all, I like to congratulate Professor Rashid Mohammed Khan for his nice presentation. Today, uh, what uh, in, in response to Professor uh, Ohab Sir's question, one important thing, what Professor Rashid also said, the combination. There are combination, two types of combination. One is topical combination, one is systemic combination. Topical combination, it can be combined with steroid, it can be combined with uh, other, other antifungals. Two antifungals combination and combination with steroid. Uh, two, three years back, we, we, the, we prefer using combination drugs with steroid, like uh, combination with hydrocortisone, combination with triamcinolone, combination with vitamethasone, like this. In this way, stepwise, we can combine to combat the in inflammatory effect of the fungus, to combat the inflammation caused by the fungus itself, especially in case of macerated or intratrizinous areas, in, in like trinia cruris, candidal intratrigo. In this situation, we combine this drug. But nowadays, the irrational use of this steroid make this combination difficult. And what Professor Rashid told, that it, and now it is the time to withdraw this sort of um, combinations, steroid combinations from the market. We are also trying, uh, as I am the member of Drug Control Committee Health Ministry, we are, we are trying to um, uh, uh, withdraw the uh, fexofenadine and your uh, pseudoephedrine combination. 
we also um, uh, take it out from the market. Few dollar, few dollar, one twenty, one eighty. We we withdraw this sort of combination from the market, and we pay uh, glitazone, the anti-diabetic drug, some sort of anti-diabetic drug combination. We we uh, withdraw this sort of drug from the market, and we are trying to um, withdraw also this. Uh, flu pen flu pen melitrazine combination used in uh, anxiety depression flu pen fixal melitrazine combination it is also harmful to these uh, people we are trying to withdraw this but as there is some sort of inflammation caused by this uh, fungus itself in macerated areas we cannot withdraw this uh, uh, withdraw this uh, right now we can we can limit the use of this sort of drug like in in septriaxone in septriaxone when we use iv we in red letter uh, in this uh, yeah, in this uh, package we we write you use use this septriaxone very slowly iv after skin test in, in 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 this situation also in red letter we can use this in this packet they used only by the registered dermatologist not, not the not the indiscriminate use by this uh, or uh, juniors one thing we, we as we cannot uh, withdraw it uh, right now and this is one combination and another combination this uh, Alila means an azole combination, as the both the both drugs are fungistatic in nature. The azoles and this terbinafine are fungistatic in nature. We can combine it one in the morning, one at night. We can combine it in this way because both can, both is directed to inhibition of argosterol, which is responsible for the cell membrane synthesis. So we can we can use we can use by uh, combining these two drugs in a different point of action. We can use in a uh, this combination as both the drugs are fungistatic. So we can combine one combination with azole with alilamines. Mm -hmm. This is this is your topical concern, and in systemic antifungal drugs, systemic antifungal drugs. We can use uh, uh, these two, this azoles and alilamine, in the same way. As the drugs are resistant, this dose of these drugs, like azoles, itraconazole, is a preferable choice. I, I, I like it very much. Itraconazole, it, it is very effective nowadays. Itraconazole, we can uh, uh, you, you use the double dose, 100 milligram. We can use 200 milligram. By doubling the dose, we can check the fungal infection and we can combine it with alilamin derivatives like terbinafine, we can use it, or neptifine, we can use this um, two, two drugs. So the, the both the drugs, in, again I say, these are fungistatic. Fungicidal and fungistatic we do, don't use together because uh, it, it creates problems. So adults and alilamines, in higher dose, we can use to stop and this uh, uh, recurrent state and to uh, check the resistance of these drugs as inadequate they dose is very dangerous um, because if we use inadequately the, if the dose is inadequate we cannot defeat the antifungal drugs and the factors which are responsible for this problem the spectrum of action of this antifungal drugs we have to know it the spectrum in which spectrum these drugs are working like the patient or then like in in oral candidiasis infants are treated with nystatin suspension and in adults oral fluconazole is effective or oral itraconazole is effective in adults but terbinafine is in ineffective in vitro it is ineffective are one important other important thing is microbial resistance and clinical resistance i i am talking it later uh, one the inappropriate use of antifungal drugs dose duration these are importance and the treatment course is long enough 
it 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 should be it it should be uh, according to the uh, according to the guideline we have um, uh, how 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 long a antifungal should be continued and what rashid said the use of fungicide in agriculture this is also a man, important uh, important problem we have to face and another important thing um, this uh, um, when we see a patient um, suffering from fungal infection uh, either tinea cruris tinea corporis we have to go to the inner side of this patient inner problems whether the patient is have malignancy patient have malignancy like leukemia lymphoma the patient is on chemotherapy the patient receiving oral steroid patient has history of multiple antibiotic therapy the patient is a transplant transplant patient uh, the patient with aids patient with diabetes and patient have multiple surgical procedure like cardiac surgery and patient is an intravenous drug abuser we have to query and we have to search for this problem when we uh, when we see a patient we are seeing the um, uh, the top of the iceberg there is a problem inside as skin is the index of the um, uh, uh, um, various internal diseases we have to see by this fungal infections we can to, we have to treat the, those underlying diseases if we don't this underlying diseases or underlying comorbidities we cannot improve um, this condition because uh, in well, antifungals are sometimes resistant antifungals are becoming resistant in these days and if we consider this uh, internal problems then uh, it will be uh, easier for us to focus on the particular point by improving this situation thank you thank you thank you thank you professor zakir rashan galib for answering the question we must remember we must forbidden <laughs> to use topical steroid and the mixed preparation for topical steroid with antifungal drug we must forbidden we must stop using this drug so and um, professor zakir rashan told nicely about the use of combination of drug combination should be uh, rather we can say it must be from different group to give wide co coverage because we cannot use azol one azol to another azol we choose one azol derivative and another alanamine uh, uh, we can choose grisofulvin with azol derivative these are the combination we can choose but sometimes we are choosing non antifungal drug like professor hai and professor uh, rashid mahmud khan rightly um, uh, told about the non antifungal drug that is retinoid anti arrhythmic drug lipid lowering agent in a study that has been seen those are using cyberstandin lipid lowering agent uh, it increase those are using along with the antifungal drug it increases the Uh, efficacy of antifungal drug so we must remember uh, all these things uh, regarding use of topical uh, topical ointment or cream cream preparation no ointment preparation is antifungal cream because uh, when i use antifungal cream most of the letters are and we did not know how to use the uh, topical antifungal Uh, always it should, suppose a patient coming with us with a single lesion or two lesion in that case we must prefer topical therapy so topical therapy it should be in per application it should be 2 cm beyond the margin you margin the uh, uh, things 2 cm beyond the uh, uh, margin you should apply but uh, normally we did not tell the patient normally we didn't follow the rules follow the system of topical application professor uh, asipul zaman lot yes, of uh, question coming from the audience please yes, look into the matter thank you sir uh, maubai do you hear me do you hear us can you can you talk can you hear you no okay 
thank you sir uh, yes sir uh, it has been a very lively discussions especially the speech that has been given by my one of the most favorite like my big brother professor rashid sir it has been so elaborate and so lively that lot of people are watching it uh, they are praising us and they are also asking few questions and i also as the junior most doctor and i am still learning i also have few questions which i would like to throw to our uh, distinguished panelists uh, as well sir uh, as we were talking about oral drugs and professor sir no, 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 was no, no, rightly no. saying uh, that uh, actually the proper dosing is very important and we sometimes find patients uh, taking tarbinafine for 7 days itraconazole 100 mg daily for 14 days uh, and then uh, they stopped then it appeared then they again come back so uh, i would like to ask this question to uh, professor rashid sir sir what according to you uh, uh, should be the optimum oral uh drug what should be the optimum duration say for example someone is suffering from tinea corporis uh, so if you choose an antifungal oral drug which one you should prefer uh, should you prefer terbinafine or itraconazole what is your personal experience and if you prefer it then how long will you uh, continue that oral medication sir can you give us the guidance about it thank you sir yeah, for the uh, is there are saying I'll, i'll be using bengali actually okay যেটা হচ্ছে ব্যাপারটা দাঁড়ছে অল এডি ফাঙ্গাল ড্রাগস আর ইফেক্টিভ দ্যাট সাপোজ টু বি ইফেক্টিভ আমাদের আমাদের অনেক চেয়ার পারসেন্ট যেটা বলছিল ইজ দ্য क्वेश्चन অফ এমআইসি দ্যাট হ্যাজ এ লো এমআইসি দ্যাট দেয়ার অর ইফেক্টিভ ইন টু দ্য এমআইসি মোস্ট অফ ড্রাগস মে বিকাম এফেক্টিভ সো আমাদের প্রথমে বুঝতে হবে যে হুইচ ড্রাগস ইজ ইজ এ রেজিস্ট্যান্ট ফাঙ্গাস অর নট একটা প্রথম একটা پیشنট আছে সে অন্য কোন ওষুধ খায় নেই ওর ডায়াবেটিস নাই ওর কোর কোবোরিটিস নাই কোন ইমিউন সাপ্রেশন নাই ওয়াট উই ক্যান ডু ওকে স্টার্ট উইথ আ ইচ্ছাকলি <laughs> ফুলবেলি <laughs> sometimes it can work since rituximab is a toxic drug there is a lot of side effect we are not using it uh, we have newer options uh, that's why i use it voriconazole there are controversies but what we are seeing it does work sometimes jokhon amra oral oshod gulo kaaj korche na then we can work with that jeta bolche je anushongi je gula er sathe sathe it could the dose amra in high dose gelo eta amader oral chair person was mentioning how to apply the topical antifungal to say it beyond the market Uh, what i do uh, after finishing the antifungal treatment i continue the antifungal uh, uh, ointments for a certain period of time you see that that the approach to higher tension is that you both said there are different terminologies came, came up chronic infection recurrent infection recurrent infection there are a lot of things which came because of the use of steroids there are just a lot of things you know jera hocche je amader body je defense mechanism immune system ke je the th1 pathway amader immune system hai mane fungal immunity the two immunity kaaj kore ei acquired dui jaygay kaaj kore যখন অ্যাকোয়াটিক এর মধ্যে ইরিটের মধ্যে যখন আছে বিটা ডিফেন্সেস কাজ করে টু মাচ অফ সো ক্যান কজ হার্ম আমাদের ওয়ালটা যখন স্টার্ট করে বিটা ডিফেন্সেস ধুয়ে বসে চলে যায় ইভেন গিভ ইট করোনা আমরা বলছি ডোন্ট ওয়াইপ আউট ইওর হ্যান্ডস ব্রাশ অফ ইওর হ্যান্ডস উইথ টু মাচ অফ সো ইট উইল ড্যামেজ ইওর স্কিন ইট উইল মেক ইম মেক দ্য স্কিন মোর প্রোন টু ডেভেলপ ফাঙ্গাল এন্ড ব্যাকটেরিয়াল ইনফেকশন সো লেট দা ইরিট ইভেন সিস্টেম টেক টেক কেয়ার আমাদের বিটা ডিফেন্সেস এর সাইড করতে হবে আর বলে রাখতে হবে এই ফাঙ্গাস গুলো হচ্ছে ওয়াইল হেডিং ফাঙ্গাস ওরা তেল দাও পছন্দ করে না সবাই তেল দাও পছন্দ করে বাট দে লাইক ইট অনলি টু ইয়া ভার্সি কালার বাট ইট ইজ ভার্সি কালার ওরা তেল পছন্দ করে বাট এরা তেল পছন্দ করে না সো ইউ হ্যাভ টু গো ফর আ ময়শ্চারাইজার কিপ ইয়ার ওয়েলস ইনট্যাক্ট ইন ইয়ার বডি সেটা করতে হবে আর যেটা বলছি যে পার্সোনাল হাইজিনের কথা যেগুলো বলছি ফ্যামিলি শুড বি ট্রিটেড আর এর পরে রাখতে হবে যেটা একটু বলতেই চাই দের আর কম্বিনেশনস যখন আমরা করি দের আর লট অফ ড্রাগ ইন্টারঅ্যাকশনস যেমন আমরা বলছি যে যে এডিকোলোসাল ড্রাগ আছে দের আর ইন্টারঅ্যাকশনস উইথ এনিফাল ড্রাগ আমাদের যে প্রোটিন প্রাইম ইনহিবিটরস আমাদের যে ইনশন এন্ড জাস্ট ইজ ইজ এ ইন্টারঅ্যাকশন এগুলো বলে রাখতে হবে এই সব জায়গায় আমরা যদি কেয়ারফুল হই আমার মনে হয় 
we can successfully treat a fungal infection. Retinoid is a controversy. I was thinking about it. It's something that we can use for maybe retinoid. It is a sebostatic. It is a sebostatic. Maybe it is a sebostatic. কারণ যেটা হচ্ছে বাংলাদেশে যেটা করে ইনহিবিটেড প্রপার্টি আছে আমাদের বেজাল সেলকে পলিফাট করতে দেয় তখন সেটা ভালো করে সে ঢুকতে পারে এটা স্ট্যাটিক সিচুয়েশনে সে ভাগ ভাগ করতে পারে তো স্টেরয়েড অলসো ডাজ দ্যাট দ্যাটস ওয়াই স্টেরয়েডে আমাদের ইনফেকশন আর বেশি হয় ফাঙ্গাস বাট রেটিনাল সাপোর্ট টু ডু দ্যাট সো আমার আমার কাছে খুব কি আমার চার পার্সেন্ট বা এনিবডি উইথ দ্য প্যারালিস ক্যান কমেন্ট অন ইট রেটিনাল মে বি গুড মে নট বি গুড সো এই ব্যাপারে আমার আই হ্যাভ কন্ট্রোভার্সিস আই আই লাইক টু নো মোর अबाउट ইট সো थैंक यू Thank you, sir. Thanks for such a lively uh, speech. You are you have always been uh, excellent, whatever you say, and you're so smart, sir. Thank you, sir. I am uh, taking this uh, cue from Rashid, sir. I would like to go to our uh, our uh, chairperson of today's webinar, my teacher. Uh, apart, uh, in, uh, had he not been there as my guide, I would have never been a dermatologist, sir. So uh, my gratitude to you, sir, Wab, sir. I would like to. I have learned everything from you. I would like to ask you one question. Regarding the dosing and everything that uh, Professor Rashid sir said, sir, suppose sir you get a patient of fungus uh, uh, who has been treated with uh, a particular drug, suppose carbinafine for uh, as 250 milligram daily for uh, 15 days, and he had uh, not uh, satisfactory response to that. So when you get that patient, do you switch? The, the drug from tarbinafine to itraconazole or any other group or do you enhance the dose uh, how do you deal with it and if you go for any drugs so for tarbinafine and for itraconazole what according to you is the safest highest dose uh, for uh, an adult person uh, sir please thank you professor asif um uh, we're treating fung fungal infection um, if you consider uh, the fresh case of fungal disease, fresh case without giving any treatment or the topical system, in that case you can choose tarbinafine or um, uh, Professor Asif, sorry, Professor Zagirahan Galib and Professor Rashid Mahmoud told about the doses. The simple doses that is 250 mg daily for 15 days like that, uh, it will be, uh, I think, cured without any complication. But those cases using topical steroid or topical um, mixed, mixed preparation and irregular treatment, what you are telling about the um, uh, short duration that is turbine up in 250 um, uh, daily for uh, one week or two weeks. And nowadays it is not an optimum dose. So in that case, in my opinion, it is some of the uh, authors, if you go through the uh, literature, some of the author proposed that you just change the drug. If the patient on was on uh, terbinafine, you change the drug. Now, suppose uh, you change itraconazole. Itraconazole is a very good drug. It is liked by the Indian uh, dermatologist, by, but in our country, we are liked, uh, I think, terbinafine. So you start a little bit higher dose, that is, 100 mg BD for two to three weeks, then you see the response. If partial response is going on, then you continue the drug. If no response, you can double the dose or double the duration. Uh, in, uh, in some cases, we can add, uh, in addition to itraconazole, another group of drugs, either azole derivative or Grisopulvin. So patient uh, with this combination, I think, will be benefited. Uh, Professor Rashid and Professor uh, yeah, uh, Dagrahan rightly mentioned about the MIC. MIC is very, very important, but we did not measure the MIC. So possibility testing with MIC is very, very important to standardize the dose and duration of the treatment with antifungal drug. Because you know, last over a, almost over a decade, you can say a decade, no systemic drug yet discovered or, or invented. So, though some of the drug, Borikunadal, Postokunadal, you can go, it is for the systemic, it is for the systemic fungus, not for the uh, FDA, uh, they did not approve for the cutaneous, though, though we are using Borikunadal in the treatment of. Fungal infection, but FDA 
uh, does not approve this boriconazole or other posoconazole, lecanocontin or other newer antifungal drug. So we hope newer drug will come in future. So uh, I think your um, uh, answer about the question is change the drug and the, um, see the response. Then according to response, you double the uh, dose and double the duration. And if not, you can add another another uh, different group of that. Thank you, Asif. Thank you, sir. Thanks for such a nice presentation and I, nice. I like to add, uh, Professor oh, Asif. I want to know that if uh, uh, itaconazole cannot be uh, sufficient at 200 milligram per day, we can increase the dose up to 400 milligram per day. Okay. Now I'd like to uh, ask uh, my beloved high uh, a question. Uh, sir, uh, sometimes uh, we find fungal infection or patient with fungal infection suffering from other uh, coexisting co comorbid diseases about which uh, Professor Zakir Hussain Ghalib sir already spoke. We know that immunosuppression is a cause for uh, spread and appearance of fungal infections. We get patients of uh, fungal infection having diabetes uh, and with diabetes they have uh, chronic kidney diseases like a patient having diabetes with a CKD with serum creatinine a bit higher above normal. So when you have patient with uh, spread or uh, extensive uh, tinea infection or dermatophyte with diabetes, diabetic nephropathy, then how you deal with this or what would be your <laughs> to go Thank about? You. Thank you, Hasib, uh, for your uh, very elaborate question. Uh, छाड़ा खुजे बेर कर डिक चले फांगल इन এখন ব্যাপার হচ্ছে আমরা ডিফাইন কি ব্যাপারে পড়ব যে হ্যাঁ একটা پیشنট রেজিস্ট্যান্ট টু অ্যান্টিফাঙ্গাল কখন বলবো কখন হ্যাঁ যে কোশ্চেনটা স্যার এর কাছে অভাব স্যার এর কাছে গিয়েছে যে হ্যাঁ আমরা একটা پیشنট আসবো আমরা কি চেঞ্জ করব কিনা ড্রাগ এই যে এই কোশ্চেনটা আসছে তো আমি এই কোশ্চেনটা যাওয়ার আগে আমি যেটা বলবো যে সব সময় কিন্তু আমরা ইমিউনো সাপ্রেশন কে আমরা সব সময় ব্লেম করা উচিত না হ্যাঁ উচিত না যেমন এইডস এর ক্ষেত্রে আমরা বলি এইডস এর ক্ষেত্রে দেখা গেছে যে ম্যাক্সিমাম এইডস پیشنট এর একটা প্রবলেম হয় সেটা হচ্ছে তাদের ইফিউজিয়াল ক্যান্ডিডিয়াসিস যেটা এটা খুবই বেশি থাকে এবং সেটা অনেক ক্ষেত্রে রেজিস্ট্যান্ট টু মেনি ড্রাগস বাট তাতে ডারমাটোফাইট ইনফেকশন ওই রকম বেশি না দ্যাট मींस কি যে ক্যান্ডিডা যেহেতু রেসিডুয়াল একটা অর্গানিজম সুতরাং এটা বেশি হচ্ছে বাট ডারমাটোফাইট রেসিডুয়াল না দ্যাট मींस হচ্ছে আমাদেরকে এক্সপোজারটাও কমাতে হবে হ্যাঁ আমাদের লাইফস্টাইলের বিভিন্ন কারণে হয়তো এক্সপোজারটাও বেড়ে গেছে डायमेटेड but total incidence kintu niye kintu ekono eta debate hoye geche je totally specially dermatophyte infection which patient er beshi kina eta niye kintu still there is a debate to amar prashno hocche ki je ashole amra 
যাদের ইমিউনো সাপ্রেশন অবশ্যই তাদেরকে ডায়াবেটিসের কন্ট্রোল হয় তাকে বলবো কন্ট্রোল করতে হবে যাকে সিকেডি পেশেন্ট তাকে ট্রিটমেন্ট তো আরো প্রবলেম তাকে সিরাম ক্রিয়েটিন লেভেল না দেখে এবং তাকে স্ট্রং মেডিসিন গুলা দেওয়ার ব্যাপারে আমাদের আরো আগে চিন্তা করতে হবে এবং এই বারবার যে আমরা কথা বলছি যে ডাবল ডোজিং করব লং ডিউরেশন করব সেটা আমরা সিকেটি পেশেন্টের ক্ষেত্রে আমি তো অবশ্যই সেটা পক্ষ নিয়ে আমি করি না তবে আমাদেরকে ওই ওই জিনিসগুলো নিয়ে আরো চিন্তা করতে হবে যে আলটিমেটলি যে আমাদের ডারমাটোফাইট ইনফেকশনের ইনসিডেন্সটা কেন বেড়ে যাচ্ছে আর শুধু বেড়ে যাচ্ছে না সেই সাথে আরেকটা ব্যাপার আমি এটা আমি ওহাব স্যারের দৃষ্টি আকর্ষণ করছি যে আজকাল অনেক পেশেন্টই বলে এমন বেশি ইচিং রাত্রে সে ঘুমোতেই পারে না আমরা যখন আর্লি আমাদের মেডিকেল লাইফ শুরু করলাম যেটা নাইনটিজের কথা বলছি বা নাইনটি থ্রি নাইনটি ফোর আমাদের কাছে যেসব পেশেন্ট আসতো মানে আলটিমেটলি ডার্মাটোলজিক্যাল সাইডের পেশেন্টটা তখন আসছে যখন সে সহ্য করতে পারে না হ্যাঁ তার হয়তো ইচিং এমন ইচিং সে ঘুমাতে পারছে না এই স্টেজগুলো ছিল এই ধরনের একটা ডিজিজ ওইটা পাঙ্গাল ইনফেকশন কিন্তু ওইভাবে ছিল না কিন্তু এখন পাঙ্গাল ইনফেকশনের সিভিয়ার কিছু সাইন সিমটম নিয়ে আসছে টু মাছ অ্যালার্জি রেসপন্স নিয়ে আসছে কেন অ্যালার্জিক রেসপন্স গুলো এত বেড়ে যাচ্ছে কেন সাইন সিমটমস গুলো এত বেড়ে যাচ্ছে এই কোয়েশ্চনটা আমার অভাব ফেরা যাচ্ছে তো আমি কোয়েশ্চন টু আনসার যেটা দিচ্ছি আর্চিফের কাছে যে আমি ওই ইমিউনো সাপ্রেসিভ ক্ষেত্রে আমি ডোজিং সুবিধা চেঞ্জ করতে রাজি না আমি এক সুবিধাটা বরং কমাতে রাজি থ্যাংক ইউ hi regarding itching sir uh, you know i started my career in the year 1990 at that time uh, regarding fungal disease when they treat when they treat the fungal disease in the early days you just believe no antihistamine is at that time was required only antifungal treatment will was cure the disease we we did not add any antihistamine but right. nowadays double antihistamine 180 fexofenadine uh, morning 180 fexofenadine at night but itching uh, was not improved by uh, by this medication but what is the underlying cause what is the underlying mechanism for uh, this severe itching but i i did not uh, get any information from any literature why this itching is severe uh in this particular case if professor asif no please answer the question <laughs> <laughs> sir if, if you don't know i have no audacity to even think <laughs> that i know anything about it sir i am still sir, trying to know at least you have taught us sir please sir ekta jinish ki bolte chai ki mane ei fungal infection ta is is so severe is so problematic ekta jinish amra jeta not new article se bolte deep dermatophytosis deep this fungal infection is going to the dermis that's like pedicis granuloma you can have a chokhe dekhi na chiro rakhi da chokhe sham aste the we are not recognizing that this is happening karon apni jokhon dekhi pagalishon ei rokom information amra kokhon dekhi pagal infection the dermis infection is fully full ache then it takes every chance that this fungus is dermatophytes are going to the hair follicles maybe okhon theke bear gol bas hoye tara dermis e chole jacche othoba they are penetrating into the dermis so these are things we should come up but the and these things they are giving the new symptoms which i think ঠিকাছে <laughs> আর যেটা হচ্ছে দের আর নিউ ড্রাগস দ্যাট কামিং যেমন ধরেন এন্টিফাগালের সাথে মানে এই চিং কমার যেমন একটা প্রামক্সিন বলে প্রামক্সিন কম্বিনেশন অফ এন্টিফাগাল উইথ প্রামক্সিন হুইচ ইজ মানে হুইচ ইজ লেস অফ দ্য ইচিং যেটা আমাদের স্টেরয়েড সাইড থেকে মুক্ত রাখবে উই ক্যান উই ক্যান অলসো টেল দ্য ড্রাগ অ্যাডমিনিস্ট্রেশন টু টেক দিস কেয়ার অফ ড্রাগ অর দ্য কোম্পানিজ ফার্মাসিউটিক্যাল কোম্পানিজ ক্যান কাম আপ উইথ দিস কেয়ার অফ ড্রাগ যেটা আমরা স্টেরয়েড কে ডিউটি ডিউটি সরিয়ে উই ক্যান কম্বাইন আদার থিংস হুইচ আর নট ডাজন্ট হ্যাভ দ্য সাইড ইফেক্টস অফ স্টেরয়েড উই ক্যান গো ফর দ্যাট আমি 
আমরা কম্বিনেশন ড্রাগ আমরা ওয়েস্টার্ন কান্ট্রিতে দেখেছি যে অ্যান্টি ফাঙ্গালের সাথে একটা মাইল্ড স্তরে ম্যাক্সিমাম দ্যাট ওয়াজ দা আই 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 হ্যাভ অবজার্ভ ইন 90 অর 95 ইন ইউকে देयर वाज सम प्रिपरेशन हां বাট ইন आवर कंट्री আই এম সারপ্রাইজ টু সি স্ট্রং স্তরে লাইক ক্লোবিটাসল দিস আর অলসো মিক্স উইথ অ্যান্টি ফাঙ্গাল বাট হাউ ইট হ্যাপেন সো আই থিংক আই থিংক ইন বাংলাদেশ উই শুড ব্যান হ্যাঁ সাম কোম্পানিজ প্রিপারেশন উইথ মিক্স ক্লোবিটাসল with uh, anti fungal this i think it is uh, really really it should so ban from market i at the comment kore at quote er che kyo kyo bole ta je amra we are not in favor of steroid combination steroid but kyo kyo bole suppose ekta patient colbrus solis korteche kinya incognito serious kinya incognito eta ekdom bodha ache jara incognito sarer level jol of steroid may cause complications seta ta flare hobe tar ichin bere jabe it life will be a hell tokhon bole je against steroid taper taper ফাঙ্গালেক্টিং মাদার because we know that in pregnancy we cannot give certain oral antifungals in lactation also we have got this limitations but sometimes we get women mother or a pregnant woman with extensive fungus and we sometimes find it very difficult to choose a drug zakir sir would you please give your expert opinion on how to deal with fungal infection in pregnancy and in lactating mother sir thank you dr professor asifuzzaman for a nice question Uh, before answering this question sir uh, i i i comment on two things uh, more itching in fungal infection uh, nowadays one important thing we are using random use of steroid when, when we use topical steroid randomly when we suddenly withdraw it there is more inflammation more inflammatory mediators more inf- more itching one important thing and there is the more itching uh, another important thing the patient have lymphoma leukemia or um, uh, certain internal diseases the patient have this sort of patient has more itching because lymphoma itself uh, causes itching Le- leukemia itself causes itching the if the underlying pathology if it is if it is uh, uh, you know, have, have itching the so the patient has more itching in this in this situation uh, other other important things is if we uh, use immunosuppressive drugs uh, certainly uh, like like you cyclosporine if combined with ster- combined with antifungal drug if we withdraw then there is more in more severe severe uh, lesion and there is more itching and another question from um, from dr rashid can we separate the dose of the steroid previously we use betnovet pl then tevison then fandinal hc like this sort of drug uh, according to the less potency of the drug steroid for two days betnovet pl for two days betamethasone and trimethasone combination for two days and tevison iconazole plus Ramsinolone combination for three days and fungidal HC, myconazole plus uh, steroid hydrocortisone <coughs> for four days. But nowadays we are not using it uh, as there is a, a problem uh, with this uh, um, uh, rapid, rapid, um, um, uh, a, a rapid uh, 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 withdrawal of this drug causes uh, this uh, flare and it causes um there is uh, one thing fungal folliculitis is there if we withdraw steroid there is fungal folliculitis so if we uh, if we use this sort of steroid to control inflammation it causes uh, this sort of problem in mild cases we can use steroid um, uh, uh, if if there is if the fungus is in intertrigeminal space in, in the groins in the axilla we can use for short period Uh, for uh, one and half one and one year back we can use this sort of uh, steroid uh, for uh, three to four days 
and in the book it is also written uh, the steroid is uh, uh, give, uh, using for the control of inflammation in, with fungal infection uh, we nowadays only we can use hydrocortisone with antifungal for a very short period if the patient came to you with steroid uh, with double border fungal infection with double border sometimes this sort of patient we are uh, found we are, we are seeing the fungal infection the uh, like people are using steroid and the, the patient came to you you with fungal infection with double border in the tinea tinea cruris so in those cases to minimize or to limit the inflammation or to check the itching we can use uh, uh, um, hydrocortisone like steroid with antifungal drugs for a very short period three to four days not more than four days along with uh, systemic uh, uh, antihistamine systemic antifungal drugs it, 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 this is the only use of steroid nowadays this antifungal drugs if it is a complicated one if it is not complicated by using steroid we don't use steroid we we pure, would directly go to um, topical, topical antifungal drugs topical antifungal not any steroid uh, one important thing uh, what, what professor uh, ohab has said uh, retinoid and metronidazole combination with fungal infection this is very good uh, retinoid is a is is essential for the maintenance of proper epithelial health for for the proper epithelial growth if fungal infection occurs in the palm sole which causes hyperkeratosis in, the, in these cases and uh, this uh, uh, topical uh, 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 system, systemic retinoid is used to to uh, with oral oral other antifungals to check this sort of uh, keratinization problem there is hyperkeratinization with antifungal problems in the palm sole in in these cases and retinoid has two effect one is maintenance of proper epithelial integrity and another is uh, uh, immunomodulating effect these two effects is the combination of this effect is we use in uh, antifungal uh, activity uh, and metronidazole in this case also it is also an immunomodulator we can use, use it in combination to improve the um, uh, immunocompetence of the patient immunocompetence is really a problem in case of tinea uh, dermatophyte infection and it is certainly a problem in case of tinea verticillar and candidiasis it is mucocutaneous candidiasis it is systemic candidiasis or cutaneous candidiasis it is really a problem immune incompetence must be there if because candida is the opportunistic infection without without, without the immune incompetence you cannot uh, find, found this candida source of infection but dermatophyte infection we we have found some sort of immune incompetence without immune competence also uh, this uh, dermatophyte can happen so so the, we but search for immune incompetence is a rule to treat the resistant fungal infection to treat fungal infection thank you pregnancy I mean, I mean, pregnancy in itself is a immune. The patient is in immunosuppressive state. Th there is some sort of immunosuppression in pregnancy, and this is the cause of uh, uh, cause of uh, flare up of fungal infection or cause of fungal infection in pregnancy because some sort of immunocompetence is there. Naturally, at the data hoy, bacha to ekta bhitore thake. The uh, patient to do it again the foreign substance is a bit more accurate and the whole little rejection by the art and study she didn't know natural Allah naturally acta when I yes to equal to say that they attack immune suppression to equal to say that they open it with a kid in a full of a big and a non non self declared got an operate the body can you know we listed on non self declared now you know fetal rejection now why that it didn't leave probably there is a there is some sort of immunosuppression is there pregnancy day that is some sort of immunosuppression and another cause of uh, immunosuppression in pregnancy is is progesterone preponderance now, there is um, when, when the patient on pregnancy there is 
progesterone from placenta progesterone from placenta and from decidual uh, yeah, placenta and corpus luteum firstly from corpus luteum secondly from placenta this uh, progesterone is producing and this is, these are the this is the cause of this progesterone preponderance is the cause of immunosuppression in pregnancy and how we uh, when I treat these uh, cases one important thing this uh, sort of problem usually uh, occurs uh, uh, usually in, in uh, tinea cruris like this or tinea corporis like this we can uh, uh, use combination of topical antifungal drugs to treat this sort of uh, um, uh, pregnancy infection because uh, in pregnancy uh, we cannot use this uh, systemic drug very very easily if everything is all right if liver function is all right if everything is all right we can try if, if very severe infection uh, we can uh, uh, use this uh, any drug but uh, in pregnancy as with uh, termination of pregnancy with delivery the immunosuppressive state gone because pregnancy is the cause of was the cause of immunosuppression so we you we only topical drugs combination of topical drugs in pregnancy and in case of lactation it is not problem we can use uh, in lact lactating period we can use oral antifungal drug also in in addition to um, good quality in, in the uh, topical antifungal drugs but in pregnancy we have to measure the uh, risk uh, of uh, giving antifungal drugs um, uh, uh, to uh, to this uh, patient because we have to we have to uh, with this uh, termination as it is healed up uh, so we can uh, use uh, the we can use uh, a, a systemic antifungal drugs uh, for uh, uh, stoppage of uh, drug will be good uh, we if we don't use this drug is good Yes, sir. Please, sir. Yes, 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 sir. Tabinafin you can use in second and third trimester, which is safe to be pregnancy B category. I think it's B category uh, in pregnancy. And in the first trimester, you should go for topical antifungals. This is what I know uh, during the uh, uh, use of uh, antifungals in the Thank, Thank you, sir. Uh, Hi, uh, would you like to comment? Yes, please. Please, Hi, yes. please go ahead. I have a question about the discussion of the discussion of the discussion of the combination therapy. Uh, we can uh, combine antifungal drugs with the retinoid. Yeah. So I have seen a uh, few articles regarding uh, antifungal plus retinoid. And only only intercommunal action, if it is the 60%, then with uh, retinoid, it is not uh, more than 5%. That is the 65%. Not so different. Very low. So, in fact, if we, if it's our, uh, we all are probably, all are the popular dermatologists, if we use uh, retinoid and uh, normal population, it can be a uh, bad message to patient because retinoid is really very, uh, very much uh, like a bad medicine. Uh, side effect profile is high, especially for uh, uh, the married uh, ladies. So, already we are problem in prescribing in a case of acne because patients actually don't monitor profile. Right? So, if we prescribe the uh, retinoid in the microphone, like uh, I think it will, like be, uh, it will be a problem for our uh, level. Uh, mm -hmm. I, think, uh, so I think it is. I should uh, keep it for very serious patients, not yeah. for every patient. But it's regarding it, technology, there another information is that uh, uh, technology works in many ways. Yeah. One thing is that it, it prevents the biosynthesis of the control, but it works in ROS, uh, ROS uh, activities. That is the in mitochondria. Uh, the uh, anti-oxidative uh, stress, the, the, uh, they create oxidative stress and thereby they work more than any other agent. So, uh, it is not uh, sufficient, sufficient. We can think about that uh, in uh, subordinate dermatitis, we prescribe it is seven days in one month by, and subsequent three months. 
so we can think about the technology if we can use in double dose in like like uh, monthly dose for three months or four months it may be, may be helpful and another thing is that in india another uh, combination is thinking now it is the sequential therapy the first two weeks ethanol next two weeks carbinafine like that <laughs> like that so there are some many proposal about the uh, combination therapy but uh, regarding uh, antifungal with retinoids i think uh, we could keep it only very severe case uh, and another question uh, to uh, uh, professor rashid ahmed khan uh, about uh, how how we treat the pediatric case of uh, uh, mycosis because now it is the the case is huge under 12 years uh, yes. uh, pediatric uh, population how yes very very i was also about to ask you the question yeah. how do we treat uh, fungal infection in pediatric population yes very good question yeah. thank only, you only one right only one drug is safe i know of it's fluconazole okay fluconazole is safe systemic and topical is safe for the baby that's what i do i, I use fluconazole for the baby and topical which are very choose now we have the, some latest drug like fluconazole uh, uh, we have uh, these are the drugs the latest drugs uh, the leptifin yeah we can use it and systemic is fluconazole is that uh, regarding but, sir but in, but in but in recent and uh, recent uh, research uh, Fluconazole is highly, highly resistant, uh, but only, only technological uh, is, I think, uh, uh, less resistant, and then tabinafine and uh, fluconazole is the uh, most worst now uh, for uh, about the drug resistant. So uh, why do you do not work? It will not work, please. So what is your advice? We, uh, is there difficulty? If, 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 uh, if fluconazole doesn't work, then what will do? Now, what I do actually most of the time I get uh, the right systemic fluconazole and. Uh, uh, one in the group of antifungal in the morning one in the group at night but it's a combination of drugs that's what happens that's what i do and most of the time it's just pulse i think uh, maybe our chairperson uh, will have a comment on it yes thank you sir uh, hi bhai thank you uh, actually this has been a very lively discussion and lively webinar and we've spoken a lot we've learned a lot and i'm sure our audience whoever watch this program from uh, wherever i i'm sure they have also been enlightened by this discussion and this discussion could have gone on for long but i think there is a constant of time and we have been already more than one and a half hour into the discussion so i think it's about time we can uh, wrap up the webinar but before that i would like to go to uh dr imtiaz uh he's from navana and i know him for long and this webinar has been uh, an idea of his and i know this for sure and the way he has put it up i would like thank him and not only that the way he handles uh, his portfolio the way he interacts uh, he is uh, i find him as a very very uh, efficient person in uh, uh, whatever he is doing so i thank him for that and i'd like to ask a request dr s m imtiaz rahman manager medical affairs and training navana pharmaceuticals limited to please give his vote of thanks thank you so much thank you very much it's a great pleasure to watch there are lots of eminent dermatologist in the country for exchange knowledge in the field of dermatology and it's a time demanding topics challenge of antifungal resistance and it's powered by lulidar luliconazole itracon itraconazole and navgal naftifin i would like to thanks all of you on behalf of navana pharmaceuticals and jorlisum company i would like to thanks our honorable chairperson professor dr abdul wahab sir for his active participation and suggestion to introduce us our panel of expert keynote speaker and as well as reporter it's a very good thing sir special thanks to professor rashid ahmed rashid san for his brilliant presentation and excellent job sir thank you very much to maintain this presentation within very short of notice thank you sir i'd like to thanks professor hai sir professor galif sir and professor asif sir for his active presence their valuable comments and this program is very live to the audience and also thanks professor dr mahbub shain for moderate this program as you know in this crisis time we introduces navgal naptifin lulida luliconazole and it's effective treatment option for dermatologist and navana pharmaceuticals always try to introduce new molecule to the treatment for dermatological cases thank you very much for giving your precious time join with us and arrange this uh, excellent live webinar program i'd like to very help uh, very grateful to all of you thank you so much thank you thank you dr intias it has been a pleasure listening to you now before uh, going to the our chairperson i would like uh, to request our panel of experts that that includes me as well <laughs> to give the uh, concluding uh, points i think i have spoken away too much so i would like to go on to 
I'd like to start with hi bye hi bye please uh, give your concluding remarks on today's webinar and overall uh, anything that you have to say uh, for us regarding fungus yes thank you dear uh, professor asif uh, it was really lively discussions and everything uh, i think already uh, we have discussed and uh, it was uh, would be better to our uh, questions from our participant but probably due to some technical difficulty we didn't uh, meet the questions but my message is that uh, really it is a very difficult job to uh, discover new antifungal agent and at this moment we have to wait many years for a uh, new uh, antifungal agent so at this moment what we have to do our traditional antifungals we should use more uh, intelligently more rationally and we should must maintain our personal hygiene and proper lifestyle this is the uh, answer or this is the choice at this moment so thank you dr asif thank you ibai i would like to let you know that all the questions that i have asked are none of my questions these questions came from the audience so i was just conveying so we were well connected with our audience so you can yes. rest assured about it so i would like to go to professor dr zakir hussain galib sir for his concluding remarks sir thank you very much uh, what i want to say and there's and this sort of antifungal resistance uh, usually of two types one microbial resistance which occurs in vitro in vitro in outside the body another is clinical resistance uh, clinical resistance in vivo in the within the body clinical resistance and this clinical resistance is due to host host itself the mammals itself or the uh, and the drug and uh, drug related factors this so these two factors is important for us one is host host factor what 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 is present in the host uh, for my the affecting people and the drug related factors so uh, in this stage as we have limited uh, four groups of drug uh, we have uh, we have um, uh, no more um, from, uh, this from, from this group uh, professor hai has uh, rightly said um, this uh, because less group of drug or less drug less research in this field because this antifungal drugs is all only directed towards the um, cell membrane of the uh, fungus not towards the inner structure of the fungus because the cell membrane is only unique uh, for for fungal population other than this uh, host hoster hoster byre shudhu mane fungus er jeta ache shudhu cell membrane jai hocche different jar jonno cell membrane er against e amake kono ekta antifungal drug toiri korte hobe শুধু এই এই কারণেই আমার আমার অন্য কোন ইয়ের দিকে টার্গেট করা যাচ্ছে না যার জন্য আমার অ্যান্টিফাঙ্গাল ড্রাগ অ্যান্টিবায়োটিক্স এর মতো অনেক বেশি তৈরি হচ্ছে না ওখানে প্রোটিন সিনথেসিস ওখানে সেলোয়াল সিনথেসিস ওখানে অ্যান্টি আর এন এ অ্যান্টি অ্যান্টি ডিএনএ অনেক অনেক অ্যান্টি অ্যান্টি ব্যাকটেরিয়াল আছে বিকজ এখানে ফোকাস হচ্ছে অনেক দিকে ফোকাস করা যায় এখানে শুধু সেলোয়ালকে ফোকাস করতে হচ্ছে এখানে শুধু আর্গোস্টেরল সিনথেসিস প্রিভেন্ট করতেছে আর্গোস্টেরল সিনথেসিস অ্যালাইলামিনও প্রিভেন্ট করে আর্গোস্টেরল সিনথেসিস অ্যাডলড্রাও প্রিভেন্ট করে সো আমাদেরকে দুই জায়গাতেই শুধু ওই আর্গোস্টেরল সিনথেসিস সেলোয়াল সেলোয়াল সেল মেমব্রেন এইটাই হচ্ছে আমার টার্গেট অতএব আমাকে এই জন্য টার্গেট করতে হবে ভিতরে কোনো ইনার কোনো টার্গেট জেনেটিক ইঞ্জিনিয়ারিং এর মাধ্যমে ভিতরের কোন জিনিসের মধ্যে টার্গেট করা যায় কিনা এই নিয়ে আমাদেরকে ভাবতে হবে কারণ আমাদের যেই অ্যান্টিফাঙ্গাল গুলি আছে কারণ আমাদের সামনে কিন্তু আরো খারাপ দিন আসতেছে কারণ আমাদের তো ইমিউনো ইমিউনো কম্প্রোমাইজ স্টেট আমাদের এইডস এখনো আমাদের দেশে খুব বেশি মাত্রায় নাই কিন্তু আমাদের দেশে আসবে না বা আসতে পারবে না এমন তো ব্যাপার না অতএব ইমিউনো কম্প্রোমাইজ স্টেট গুলিতে আমাদের ফাঙ্গাল ইনফেকশন অনেক বেশি আরো বেশি ফ্লারিশিং হবে এখন এখনই আমাদের এই অবস্থা আমরা কিছু করতে পারতেছি না এই কোভিডের মতো আমরা কিছু করতে পারতেছি না কিন্তু ভবিষ্যতে আমাদের আরো দিন খারাপ আসতেছে সেই সব দিনগুলিতে আমাদেরকে চেক দেওয়ার জন্য আমাদেরকে অবশ্যই আমাকে ওই রকম টার্গেট করতে হবে জিন টার্গেট করতে হবে হচ্ছে ডিএনএ টার্গেট করতে হবে আর এন এ ইনার স্ট্রাকচারের উপরে টার্গেট করতে হবে ফাঙ্গাসের ইনার স্ট্রাকচার বাই জেনেটিক ইঞ্জিনিয়ারিং আমাদেরকে এরকম ড্রাগ তৈরি করতে হবে শুধু সেলওয়াল নিয়ে বসে থাকলে আমাদের হবে না ভিতরে আমাদেরকে ঢুকতেই হবে আমরা সেই দিনের আশায় রইলাম আমরা সবাই সুস্থ থাকুন সবাই ভালো থাকুন থ্যাংক ইউ থ্যাংক ইউ থ্যাংক ইউ স্যার ফর থট ফর ফিউচার অ্যাকচুয়ালি সো আই উড লাইক নাও লাইক টু রিকোয়েস্ট প্রফেসর রশিদ আহমদ খান স্যার ফর হিজ কনক্লুডিং রিমার্কস স্যার আই লাইক টু থ্যাংক एवरीबॉडी ফর অনারিং মি টু অ্যালাউ মি টু স্পিক সামথিং ইন দিস ডিস্টিংগিস গ্যাদারিং ইট ওয়াজ আ নাইস টক আই থিং ইন আ শর্ট এগেইন আই ওয়ান্ট টু এমফাসাইজ 
appropriate drug, appropriate dose, uh, appropriate compliance, personal hygiene, keep as a family, and avoid and avoid steroid. I think well, in a nutshell, I have covered everything. I'd like to thank Navara Pharmaceutical, especially Dr. India, who has helped me prepare these slides again for organizing such a uh, nice talk, just such a nice India. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. It was a pleasure for us, and it was a good fortune for us to listen to you, sir. You have always delighted us with your speech. Thank you, sir. Now, I would like to request our chairperson of today's webinar, Professor uh, Abdul Wahab, sir, uh, to give his concluding uh, remarks. But before that, I have, sir, two simple questions to ask you, sir. Very simple questions. If you address one, sir, you talked about itraconazole applying 400 milligram. We have 100 milligram capsule now these days. Do you think that? we would be better off like uh, since the pharmaceutical guys here with us they can better serve us with 200 milligram capsule in future or not if that ha helps and one more question is sir regarding topical medications do you find luliconazole uh, a better choice uh, than other antifungal topically for uh, resistant fungal cases sir these two questions and also sir your concluding remarks thank you sir uh, thank you can you hear me yes sir yes sir okay Regarding the first question, uh, that is 200 MD itaconazole. It is available in our neighboring country. So we um, we uh, will tell the uh, pharmaceutical. We already uh, told one one pharmaceutical to uh, manufacture uh, 200 MD uh, itaconazole as like as India. So I also uh, request Navana pharmaceutical. To, Sir, I uh, want to uh, in, uh, interrupt you. I, uh, we already proposed 200 milligram metoconazol in drugs. You have not so get okay. thank, you. Thank, thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And uh, the second question regarding use of luniculazole. It is all, almost, um, of course, it is the best drug for the topical levels. But it has, uh, it is working um, particularly in new cases, fresh cases. But if resistance cases, it is very, very difficult to resistance cases. It is very difficult to use. Uh, uh, low unless otherwise you uh, combine with systemic drug. Thank you. So, uh, in conclusion, I must thank Navana Pharmaceutical for arranging this CME in this crisis moment challenge of antifungal resistance. We have hard methods, we have learned. Professor Rashid Mohammed Khan for his extraordinary piece about the challenge of antifungal. I also thanks all the panelists for their uh, sharing for their sharing knowledge and active participation, and uh, they gu guided us about the future treatment and the present treatment and the modified treatment of uh, antifungal. Uh, uh, resistance cases. So I thank uh, all of them, though Dr. Mahabub Shahin uh, is not attending, uh, he, he's hearing all this thing, but he's not uh, delivering any speech. I also thank to him. And I thank all the audience participating in this seminar. So uh, in conclude, I must say with the sharing of knowledge, I must request all the knowledgeable and experienced expert to come forward to give us solution uh, for the treatment of this uh, resistant and fungal disease. So thank you very much. Thank you all. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum, sir. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you, you sir. You are uh, watching Raj TV. Jagorone, Bangladesh. Please.